Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the most recent update to Black Desert, taking a look at all of the events and some of the major changes that came with this update because there's a lot of major changes. Normally, I don't go over the major changes, but I feel like I need to because of how crazy they are. Anyway, real quick before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me and would help to grow the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's start by taking a look at the events. The first event that's going on right now is an increased drop rate to Blackstone's armor and weapon from grinding mobs out in the world of Black Desert. So not even like a real fun event, just for doing general grinding, you're going to get some more Blackstone's armor and weapon. This does not include time-filled Blackstone's on the season server, just the normal versions of these stones. And the only other event that came with this patch is the upgraded Black Spirits Adventure. So the upgraded Black Spirits Adventure is located on the pause menu. The reward tab, which is F3, and then Black Spirits Adventure, which is number four. So you get upgraded rewards from the Black Spirits Adventure. So make sure every day to roll your dice and get your free crap. So that is it for events with this update. Pretty lackluster as far as events go. However, there are a huge number of major changes to the game. The first one is the additional hairstyles for men. So I'm going to drag this over onto your screen right now so you can see it. We got three new hairstyles for men. We got like the Bieber hair. We got the Chad look. And then we got the frat boy look. So you got those three options for new hairstyles for dudes. So if you like making male characters, there you go. But I'm the only weirdo that makes guys their main character, and my hair looks nothing like this. The second major update is a second way to obtain the Rich Merchant's Ring, which is also still impossible because you need the Odiligata update, which isn't even in the game yet. So I don't even know why this is a part of the update, because you can't get all the pieces until Odiligata comes into the game. So you're still looking at months before this is even relevant. Thank you. And next, we have the update that every single person in the world of Black Desert has been asking for. The biggest thing, like if you ask anyone, what do they complain about the most in Black Desert? It's not balance between classes. It's not that the Guardian's OP. It's not that they wish the pop-in feature would get fixed. It's not that they want better performance on higher graphics settings. Oh, no, 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 no. It's how to revamp the skill menu and make it as impossible to understand as possible. So now, when you log into Black Desert and press the K key on the keyboard, it's going to look like a freaking mess. Honestly, this is worse than the console version of Black Desert for figuring out your skills. But this is your new skill menu you get to work with. And the best part about this menu is that there is no way to go back to the previous version. Like on the pause menu, if you don't like the new version of the pause menu, you can switch back to the old menu which looks like this, and then you can just switch back to the new menu so you can have that consistency if you're an old player. But nope, you got to use this new menu. Unless I am missing something and it's hidden somewhere where you can just click it and yeah, and if there is, make sure to comment in the comment section below to let me know or let everybody else know. But as it stands, this is what you got. And this menu is absolutely insane for a whole bunch of different reasons. One of the biggest reasons I can think of is that you can't see what skills follow other skills on it like you could on the other menu where it showed like the little drop down bar and you're like, hey, do this, then you can do this skill. The biggest example right here is Unveil Dagger where you stab like this on the Dark Knight. There's no indication that Hidden Strike follows that attack. There's none at all on this menu. You just have to know that if I get Unveil Dagger, I have to get Hidden Strike too because that's the skill that follows it. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But anyway, a quick overview of this menu. You've got this current state, succession, and awakening, and it doesn't really do anything, so don't even bother with that. Then you have your main skill tab, your awakening skill tab, and your skill enhancement tab. So working from the right to the left, the skill enhancement tab is the Rabam skills. They were the two little skills that were at the bottom of your menu. So the two like combined skills that you make for your pre-awakened version. So it's not too bad. Basically, you get the first skill, and then you get one of the two second skills, and you can get the Rabam skill and assign it to the slot. So it's not too different from what it was, it's just in a completely different location. Next up is the Awakening branch, and this isn't too bad. You still have all of your Awakening skills that you normally had. They're just oriented vertically instead of horizontally now. So another thing, when you're looking at these skill menus, do you see the little white box encircling each of the dots? Each of the dots is the different levels of the skill. The white box is what level you're currently assigned to on the skill. So as opposed to having all the boxes going across that were extremely visual and easy to understand if you've maxed out the skill, you now got to look at these tiny little dots and a white box around it. So anyway, the main tab is the most relevant to me because I play successions and I will try to help you out a little bit on this one. So instead of having your own succession tab that makes it super easy to see what skills go to where and when you click on it, it tells you, hey, you need this skill. Now nah, you got to scroll down the side here and look for these prime skills. So you can see here, Slanted Balance has a prime skill. 
But if I'm stupid and misclicked, I would have gotten the absolute version and not actually picked the right thing. So really confusing. Can you tell I hate this new menu? Anyway, to do succession skills, you need to scroll down this list and look for prime skills. So we have prime airstrike, which is off of airstrike, but there's no indication as to what level you need to get airstrike to. So just to show you how selecting a prime skill works for using a succession skill, we'll do it off of the airstrike skill. If I click on the upgrade button, you can see that it moved the box over and then you have to hit the plus button to learn the skill. So then if I hit the over button again and hit the plus button, I've now upgraded the skill to getting airstrike. And now that I have airstrike three, I can pick up prime airstrike by going ahead and clicking on the plus button over here. So that is how you learn succession skills now with the new setup. Absolutely insane. To go ahead and remove these succession skills because I don't really want this skill right now and I'm lacking skill points, you have to right click on the icon to get rid of it. And then to unlearn the skill, you need to right click on the box, right click on the box, right click on the box. Because why in their infinite wisdom they decided to not make it so that if you just click the arrow over to go back to level one and unlearn it, you could. I have no idea, but you have to unlevel each of the box. Anyway, uber confusing. But if you somehow manage to set up your character, you can actually save these in a preset with the new preset menu that's to the left. So to access this preset menu, you need to have completed your succession and awakening quest lines. If you've already completed those, if you go to talk to your black spirit by pressing the comma key on the keyboard, navigate to the quest tab, you will see the two quests skill preset coupon one and two. So just go ahead and talk to them for those and they will auto complete and you will get both of these coupons just like that. Go ahead and use both of those from your inventory by right clicking on it and hitting enter. And then if you go back into your skills menu, you will see the new skill setup. So now you can see I can save these. So if it's save skill preset, I can save it to slot one by clicking on the one and clicking save. And now it's saved to slot one and I can swap between these whenever I want. So now one more thing about these presets and something that someone else is going to have to confirm because I have no way to do it. It says that you can reset your skills without a secret book of old moon. So I currently have a secret book of old moon running and uh, I, I that's why I'm able to just change these freely. So someone who does not have a secret book of old moon, if you can confirm it in the comment section that you can save your skill presets and all of that without it, let me know. So that's basically all I'm going to cover on this new skill menu. It's clunky, it's hard to use, and I wish you the best of luck trying to figure it out. Anyway, the next update that came with this is a new adventure log. So to get started with the new adventure log, you're going to press the comma key on the keyboard, talk to the black spirit, click on the adventure log quest that comes up under the main tab. You will need to be at least level 56 to access this, so go ahead and click on that, start it up, and confirm. This is going to send you to an NPC located in Port Etheria, so I will meet you over here. So quickly before we continue with the video, there's one more thing I forgot to mention about the skill menu. Remember how the old skill menu, you could press the K key on the keyboard, click a skill and drag it onto your hotbar to set up your hotbar on the bottom of your screen. Can't do that anymore. You got to click the quick slot settings icon in the top right corner, then click on the skill, then drag it onto the bar to update your bar down on the bottom. So extra steps to do the same thing that you could do even faster before. Anyway, once you arrive in Port Etheria and can talk to Pavino Greco, if you go ahead and talk to them, it will auto-complete the quest. Then after you're done talking to him, if you talk to him again, it's going to open up two quests that you can click on. So you've got the Adventure Log Pirate's Formula and Adventure Log Seeking Darkness. So go ahead and accept both of those quests. And then after you've accepted both of those quests, if you navigate to the chat tab, you will be able to purchase the two Adventure Logs for 1 billion silver and 500 million silver. Because who doesn't want to spend 1.5 billion silver to do content in Black Desert? This guy doesn't want to spend it. So this 1.5 billion silver is just going to get you the first two books of the adventure log right here. And if you go to Google and you just type in Black Desert, Vivino Grego, blah, 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 the very first thing that's going to come up on the search results are going to be people who've already done this and spent the money. I don't really feel like spending it, but you get a bunch of HP. And if you want to follow along with their guides, you can and uh, just do that because I'm not spending that kind of money for a freaking HP bonus. It's not worth it to me, but it is hundreds of HP bonus. So if you do do a lot of PVP or grinding in high end spots, definitely the place for you. If you are a poor life skiller like me, I really could give two craps about it. And the final thing we're going to cover in this video is that you can now change the appearance of your black spirit. So if you summon your black spirit by pressing the comma key on the keyboard, navigate to below my webcam. Can you see the mouse below this arm right here? There's this black spirit icon down here that lets you change the appearance and you can make them look like whatever you want. So that's pretty neat. I guess if you want to have the little floating ball or if you want to have that thing, you just, you just click on it and click confirm and you're good to go. 
So anyway, guys, that is it for this update. Those are the major changes. There are a lot of things that are also in here that I didn't mention, like the balance changes and all of that. So if you want to read these notes in their entirety, the link is in the description below. Um, I just wanted to cover all the major events and updates that came with the update. If you did like this video, if it's going to help you to progress in Black Desert, learn more about the game, let me know in the comment section below. Also, make sure you're subscribed so you stay updated when new content like this comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Thanks. Nice.